Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles The New Batman Adventures number 9, Killer Croc. Not only do you get Killer Croc in this set release, but you also get Baby Doll. It also looks like you get yourself a roast turkey. Uh, it is uh, not rec rec recommended, excuse me, for not children under 3 years of age. Uh, it's recommended for ages 14 and up. Back of the package doesn't really say anything. Just shows a picture of Batman, Tim Drake, uh, Robin, and Nightwing. Down below, you can go to www.dccomics.com. You can also go to www.comicshoplocator.com to find a comic book store within your area. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, however, we're going to get a better look at Killer Croc and Baby Doll. There's more heading way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Like every other Batman and new, well, new Batman Adventures and Batman the Animated Series line from DC Collectibles, they include a pamphlet with all the figures that they've released so far. And looking at this, I think Spot actually has acquired all the 12 figures listed on the front here. Now, granted, there has been a lot more since looking at this, this original flyer. Great, solid figures so far. I think they're doing an outstanding job, and I hope they continue well. As we've seen, they're still going to be releasing a ton of new figures uh, in the very near, near future. So we'll put that to the side. You also get yourself a display stand that includes with Killer Croc, or comes included with Killer Croc. Features the front and three-quarters turn of what the character model will look like. The only downside, though, is Baby Doll doesn't come with any sort of display stand. I, you know, it would have been nice if they had made the stand a little bit longer. They had a secondary post that could have, he you know, held Baby Doll. But I guess you could just prop her up against Killer Croc. Essentially what I'm doing right now. She does not stand very well. Now, just because I say she doesn't stand very well, it's I'm also basing it from this backdrop. Having it on a flat surface may not so much be a, a probing issue. So, I'll just put the display stand right here. Accessory-wise, before we have a look at the figures themselves, Killer Croc and Baby Doll comes with a roast turkey. There is no articulation on the roast turkey, nor should one would expect to find articulation on a roast turkey. A singular color of a light brown with a little bit of white on the drumsticks there, drumstick uh, bones. Uh, very episode-specific accessories once again. Like, will you ever come with a reason to display Killer Croc with a roast turkey? Maybe not. Or roast chicken. Maybe not necessarily. Comes with that. Comes with a baby bottle. With a little dummy on the end there, or a rubber nipple, or whatever you call the end of a, a baby bottle. You get a stack of cash. I'd love to see more stacks of cash and bags of cash and things like that with these releases. Give me this more so than the likes of a roast turkey or the next thing I'm going to discuss as well. But a big wad of dollar dollar. Put that right to the side. And lastly, I don't know what this is. It could be a grapefruit. It could be a bomb. It's got a hole on the end. I don't really know. It could be just a ball. Or it could be something that when you press, it opens up. It's a top. I don't recall the episode to which this has been taken from. Do let me know down below. And by letting me know, I'm sure 500 people will say the same comment. But, uh, I don't know. Like, will I ever display either of the figures with this? Well, not Baby Doll necessarily. But will I ever display any of the figures with this? Not necessarily. Didn't really need to be included. Put that to the side. Killer Croc also comes with a pair of hands. Now, the existing hands are more wider grabbed hands, or wider gripped hands. These are more closer gripped. So, like things such as the baby bottle can be housed in the hand. Um, of course, you can also take the stack of bills, which I think would fit maybe not so much in this hand. A little bit of prying would be required. Yeah, they'll fit better in this hand. So there are your accessories. We'll just put those all to the side. And I knew sooner or later Baby Doll was going to fall. That's probably a good excuse to have a look at her first. Taken, looking like she was taken right out of the episode. Figure looks quite nice. And you know what? It's a great 
throw-in to be getting like these little smaller characters included with larger figures because you know what are the chances that we'd ever get a baby doll just on her own it's really kind of the equivalent of the ventriloquist with the dummy dummy's gonna be a little bit smaller than this granted but you know it's nice to incorporate a figure like this with a figure like that um paint's pretty good no issues really on the paint nice sculpt on the dress and the hair a very happy-go-lucky expression on baby doll uh, her articulation she has what appears only to be a swivel in the head swiveled arms um, I thought was a swivel yeah swiveled waist yep yeah. and she also has hinges in the legs just individual hinges so you can move the legs kind of independently from one another I thought initially they were gonna be like joint articulation where both legs would move at the same time this baby doll not not bad not fantastic it's not like a figure would be making my top list of oh they really need to totally make said figure she wouldn't necessarily make that list so I'm glad they include it with someone like Killer Croc as opposed to maybe just waiting for never getting a baby doll figure so pretty good I like it we should display stand but as you already as I already mentioned getting lost here as I, as I already mentioned, you could probably just have her propped up against Killer Croc's leg. So let's just put her to the side. All right, so let's have a look at Killer Croc. The first thing to note, too, is that this Killer Croc has no posability in the legs. It's one of the few figures that don't have posable legs, to my knowledge. I think all of them seem to have knee articulation to some extent. Killer Croc does not. He is the New Adventures Killer Croc versus the original Killer Croc, which had a very more predominant head and I think it had like spikes and stuff on it. This is a more streamlined look to, uh, to Croc here. I don't know if they would necessarily be sharing this body with anything else. I thought maybe, I mean, because the scales aren't textured, they're just drawn on. And I really wish I had had them at the time that I'm doing this review, but wondering if maybe some of it's been used for Bane, maybe. Or maybe, like, Clayface might make use of this torso. I really don't know how much of these molds DC uh, DC Collectibles reuses for their their other pieces. So may, maybe, maybe none. Maybe they don't use anything. Kind of says something for the other companies out there. <coughs> Mattel! <coughs> Mattel! Where, uh, you know, they, they have to get as much out of the mold as they possibly can... And then yet you've got companies like, you know, DC Collectibles, uh, NECA, Diamond Select Toys. They all kind of start going off and they say, you know what, we'll just, just make the figure. You know, it doesn't have to, Killer Croc does not have to use necessarily the same body as any other figure. But you know what, we want to make them. And that's the end of it. Having a look at this face, more stylistic in design. The eyes are quite nice. And though a lot of it, scale-wise, isn't sculpted, as I already mentioned, the drawn-in scales do a pretty good job of conveying how the character looks in the show. He's kind of a, like a like a yellowish olive green color. Quite like it. The sculpt on his pants, though, very simple in design. He's got a little bit of like folding area here, or a little wrinkled area on the front of his pants. As mentioned, he has absolutely no articulation in the knees. But that's not to say that he does not have posability. Killer Croc's head does swivel left and right. It is on a ball joint, but really it's not going to clear it. It will go down, but it won't go any further back because of the way that the back is arched. There's a better look at what the back looks like. Uh, shoulders hinge out. They rotate all the way around. And I don't know, maybe maybe he has shared some similar mold to perhaps, perhaps Man Bat as well. His arms do rotate, and he does also have a bend in the elbow which is very stiff on this one arm. Not as stiff on this other arm, but it does also rotate around. I get a very cautious when it comes to some of these figures where if it starts getting a little bit of resistance, I don't force it. Because I've heard horror stories where some of these joints may potentially just break right off. A hinge, well, a hinge in the hand, also rotation in the wrist. He has an upper torso crunch. So, I mean, you can get the arm... You can almost even have it where Batman's like whoo, swinging at him and knocking him back. Kind of be a fun little diorama there. No articulation in the waist. 
uh, split hinged legs, kind of all the same with the other uh, Batman figures. Legs go forward and back. And he's also got a pivot point in the foot with also a swivel right underneath the cuff of the leg. So, I mean, you get a good fair bit of posable options from the croc here. And then along for the ride, of course, you've got Baby Doll too. Spot took a bit of a break doing the Batman animated series figures. It wasn't so much that I wasn't interested in them, but uh, my local comic book store where I go to just kind of stopped stocking them. And I had I have now since kind of said, you know, can you guys order some of the extra figures that I have not had a chance to pick up yet? So you will see hopefully more animated series figures and new Batman adventure figures uh, in the near, near, near future. Uh, like Killer Croc. Some would maybe say, oh, it's a shame that we didn't get the animated series Killer Croc. But uh, you know what? All things considered, I think this one still turned out quite nice. Baby Doll's not bad. At least she's thrown in and she's not just a standalone figure. Then I would say, ah, you know what? Too expensive. Too expensive for a figure. You could throw tons of accessories in, but at the end of the day, a little too expensive for a figure that small. So it's a great opportunity to throw in small figures when you get big figures like Croc here. Today's Toy Spot, we were having a look at the Batman New Adventures, or New Adventures of Batman from DC Collectibles. We're looking today at Killer Croc. i grab my other hand here. And we're looking at Baby Doll. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching, as you always do. See you next time.